This is Atlas Launch Control. We are now just under two and a half hours away from the launch of the Mars Science Laboratory and the Curiosity rover atop, atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral. The launch window today extends from 10.02 a.m. to 11.45 a.m., a duration of one hour and 43 minutes. The Curiosity rover will gather the soil and rock samples for the onboard laboratory equipment to attempt to detect chemical building blocks that will provide clues about life processes on Mars. With the liftoff today, the Mars Science Laboratory begins an eight and a half month journey to Mars, arriving in 2012 on August the 6th. The landing will occur at 3 p.m. local time at Gale Crater on Mars. At that point, the radio signals will take 13 minutes and 42 seconds to cover the 154 million mile distance between Mars and Earth. About 10 minutes ago, the launch pad was cleared of all personnel to begin preparations for loading cryogenic liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Liquid uh, Oxygen will be loaded into the Atlas booster stage, the first stage, and will be followed by loading liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen into the Centaur upper stage, or the second stage. We've just had a weather briefing by our launch weather officer, Clay Flynn, and we remain at a 70% go, 30% no-go as far as our launch weather criteria. At launch time, the temperature will be approximately 73 to 74 degrees. We'll have easterly winds, 18 to 21 knots, occasionally gusting to 24. Relative humidity of 70 percent, visibility of 7 to 10 miles. And we'll have scattered clouds for the most part. Occasionally there is a chance for a uh, variable broken layer to appear, and uh, as that occur, should the ceilings become a uh, launch constraint, then we will just simply uh, wait that out as they pass over, which they're expected to do, and go into the next pane of the launch window, which occurs every five minutes. At T-minus two hours in holding, this is Atlas Launch Control. Launch team, this is the NLM on the NLM net with our final launch pole and continuing the launch countdown at T minus four minutes. NAM. NAM is ready. NASA CE. NASA CE, go. SMA. SMA is go. SMD. SMD is go. Mission manager. Mission manager is go. Copy that. The team's ready to release the hold at T minus four minutes. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems. Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems. Propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Hasgas. Go. Electrical systems. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. Instrumentation. Go. Com. Go. GCQ. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Quality. Go. OSM. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. Go. LC, this is the LD on channel one. LC, you have permission to launch. Roger. Proceeding with the count. NLM, this is SMD is on NLM net. Power. Go ahead, SMD. SMD would like to report that the spacecraft is on internal power and it's configured for launch for a T0 of 15 colon 02 colon 00. Copy, SMD. MSL is configured for launch. While I have your attention, I want to wish the entire team that supported MSL good luck and Godspeed. It's been a long, challenging journey getting here, and we're proud to start you on the way to Mars shortly. NLM out. Thank you very much, NLM. We really appreciate the thought. This is Atlas Launch Control, 90 seconds before coming out of this planned built-in hole at T minus four minutes. Once we lift off, we'll be hearing our telemetry manager, Rob Gannon, from United Launch Alliance, calling the flight events as the vehicle heads downrange. At T minus four minutes and holding, with a minute and a quarter remaining in this plan built and hold, this is Atlas Launch Control. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine start, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. Gannon, our United Launch Alliance telemetry manager, we're hearing. Vehicle is now 32 nautical miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've throttled down to hold a constant 2.5 G level for payload fairing jettison. Fired the pyro valve, pressurizing the RCS bottle. Pressure increasing in the loop as expected. Now we're hitting our 2.5 G limit, coming up on payload fairing. Edison, approximately 10 seconds. Bearing jet. And we also have a successful CFLR jettison. But as expected, throttling up on the RD-180, everything looking good. Coming up to 89% thrust. Five seconds spacecraft set. Achieved our targeted roll rate. We have spacecraft separation. And confirmation from our video system. And the vehicle has de spun. And with the successful separation of the MSL spacecraft from AV-28, this concludes the commentary for this mission. And we have lots of uh, handshakes and smiling faces here in the control room because Mars Science Laboratory is on its way to Mars.